Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this issue with Windows Store Cache May Be Damaged problem in Windows 10. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by clicking the subscribe button. Um, now you get this um, error when you're using some applications within the Windows Store. Um, sometimes you won't be able to use applications. Um, so if you do get this issue or this error that's displayed on the screen, I'm going to show you how to reset it. So if you click on File Explorer from the taskbar at the bottom, if you then click on this PC, and if you click on the C drive, then double click on Windows, and if you go down, there's a folder called System32. If you just double click on that, then there's an a program here called WS Reset. So if you just right click on there and then click on Run as Administrator, so what that's going to do is it's going to reset the store to back to the default settings. Okay, it's reopened the source. We know that's completed. So now if we close that down, if you left click on this PC again, if you go to the C drive, now if you go onto the uh, users folder, then if you double click on your username, I know mine is Jason. So double click on app data. Actually, before you do that, if you go on to view and make sure hidden items is ticked, because if it's not ticked, you won't be able to see the app data folder. So tick that box, double click on app data, and then local, and then packages. So it's even saying there, a, a application was reset to default. So now we need to look for the Windows Store folder. So if we just do a search for store, and we can see it's got one folder there. So if you just highlight it and then right click. OK, sorry, it's found a few folders there. So if you just select them all, then right click and delete. OK. So if you, if you get this uh, message up, just tick the box and click on skip. That is now going to delete all of the cache for the Windows Store. So when that is uh, completed, if you just shut down your machine, uh, restart uh, and then launch the store again and all should be fixed for you. If you have any questions on this process, please post them in the comment below and I'll help you out. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.